Right, so we do have Sagittarius on our hands and let's have a look what Sagittarius are to experience in this week, July 20th to 26th, uh, 2020 in terms of career and relationship. And the first thing that we are going to have a look at, that will be the career thing. Right, so the first one here in terms of uh, career for Sagittarius is going to be uh, the Emperor followed by the Ten of Wands. Uh, moving next, that is to be the Two of Wands and the last one, uh, wow, that will be the uh, Knights of Wands. So that will be quite of a uh, exhausting uh, career week. And uh, now, uh, just uh, on the t off the top of my head here, just observing those cards, one thing made me a very strong impression, guys, and that is the Emperor at the first position in this dedicated spread um, and the Ten of Wands into the second position of that spread. And that pretty much speaks about a couple of things. Now, the first one is burning out very severely, and I will tell you why in a second. And the second thing is getting yourself involved into a, 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 a deed or an enterprise that you are going to have a hard time keeping up with. Not because you do lack any skills or, or any knowledge about it, but because it's going to um, require a lot of your personal dedication. And that relates to the burnout. Now, the burnout is going to be because you're going to have many, many things to do. And as you have to devote to only a, a, a big resources of your behalf and just only one thing that you get yourself involved into, by the way, you are not going to be able to back off your work here throughout the week. So be, be very careful what kind of priorities you are setting in front of yourself in terms of career. Uh, so as you won't be able to back off from it, you will have to sacrifice uh, pretty much, you know, enterprises that you would love to develop throughout the week itself. So the week is all about are you going to work extremely hard or you are going to be very smart about it. Now, the week calls for your full attention in terms of career and especially those that are having a job. They will have to show themselves very reliable and as well. Uh, capable to exert structure in their uh, in their career deeds or in other words said you have to show that you can maintain gain and maintain control over your deeds or over your tasks by creating a, a meticulous structure in there however you are going to be though amazed how much free time you can clear for yourself and if you do that properly you can definitely use that time to improve on a, a skills that you are currently developing. That could be something that resides outside of your current career field. You know, you may be working as a business consultant, but you may kind of like uh, currently studying, say, tarot because you want to transform that tarot into a, a future business of yours. OK, so for such kind of a, a, a new not new, but currently developing skills or knowledges I am talking about. Now, if you don't do something peripheral, then the weak points that you are going to find out what you can do peripheral here. But that is only if you do structure your priorities in a very organized fashion. Now, here we are talking about organization once again. And by you doing so, what, that will be the key where you are um, showing yourself very capable to take on the workload that it is waiting for you in the upcoming months because this is what you are going for i mean you wanted a um a turf to prove yourself capable you probably wanted as well uh, a, a chance to get in, to get yourself promoted or to get a raise that's your that that's that's the the start of it here of what we do have you may have not been considered or eligible, considered eligible, I'm sorry, for that promotion or for that raise, but showing yourself capable and reliable throughout the week, definitely going to fit you in the, uh, in the list of people eligible for the promotion or the raise. And uh, that is just the beginning, okay? So uh, by the end of the week, once you get into the game, things are going to speed up. So I do hope you Sagittarius 
can keep up the pace. You wanted the chance, you got it, okay? But are you up to it? Well, that depends entirely on your individual performance and on your individual uh, capabilities. Just remember one thing. Do not get yourself involved into something that you know, and believe me, you are going to know that you cannot keep up with, okay? Uh, those who are looking for a job, uh, it's highly likely, guys, that you are going to have some kind of a, uh, it's not exactly job offer, but let's say in an opportunity for yourself to start the job throughout this week. It's just the card points that uh, it will be a rough one, all right, in the sense of that it will be very demanding, but there you do have a, a possibility to learn a lot. So that, that is going to be like a stepping stone for you rather than a settling stone, okay, where you get yourself in that place, you learn the perks of the trade, and from there, using that perks of the trade as a background, you can get yourself a, a much better one. So that being said, this was uh, about your career. Now let's have a look what we do have in terms of a relationship for you, Sagittarius. Right, so the first one here uh, is going to be the four, uh, followed by the two of pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the world. And the uh, last one, that is going to be the ace of swords. <sighs> so we are talking here, putting the past behind your back, and that doesn't necessarily need to mean a breakup, okay? But uh, the thing is that what those cards here are pointing, just once again to show you the cards, we do have the word, the Fool, uh, the Two of Pentacles, the World, and then it is the uh, Ace of Swords. And is that, um, you know, from now on, you can only go by forward in terms of your relationship life in general, only with the new circumstances and uh, any attempt to bring old circumstances into the play uh, is just only going to be detrimental to your, uh, to your relationship or to your attempt attempts to uh, make a relationship moving forward and that's a bit sounds confusing isn't it well I'm gonna try to explain it to you that way uh, if you wish to proceed with your rocky relationship moving forward from tomorrow and I mean it from tomorrow when you wake up it has to be like you just you you have just started the relationship with your partner okay and you seek for a new enterprises and experiences that has nothing to do with the previous ones. You do not bring up the problems from yesterday, all right? Whatever annoyed you, you do not bring up this thing on the platter anymore like ever. If you can live with that and if you can do it, then um, the relationship is going to continue. Although I don't know if you are going to find it worth it worth its while because the fool at the end of the day especially having it here into such a prime position it kind of speaks for a brand new experiences okay so pretty much and with the world on the third position if your relationship is on the rock here and it's highly dissatisfiable for you well th those cards especially with in between having the two of pentacles points that yeah i mean you can you can kind of like shake it a little bit here and there but at the end of the day it's just a lost cause right uh, it's just what the card points and you need to aim yourself for a new perspective and under a new perspective i need not just only a new page of your love life not a new chapter of your love life we're talking about a brand new book if not a brand new library of books for your love life all right um, uh, one way or the other, you're going to understand uh, what you got to do. You, you will be able to place the accurate diagnosis over your, um, over your relationship life. For some, it's going to take more time than for the others. Uh, I mean, if you don't believe what I'm saying right now, like I said, you are going to understand it your way. Uh, hopefully not as hard as the cards shows. 
but ultimately here uh, yeah this is pretty much about what we have in terms of a relationship for you Sagittarius that you gotta aim for a brand new experiences because you can't live with the past or in the past that is those who are looking for a relationship um obviously the full points to a brand new experience once again uh, which is a um, a new relationship but that is com that comes with the condition that you gotta close or shut or slam if you will all doors with the past you secretly are hoping to reconcile with the next no go i mean you're gonna miss your chance you are, are making an attempt with somebody who denied you recently no go it's, it's still so you pretty much should look only forward to the future and the new possibilities rather than being clinging to the old one and and that's about all that there is to it in terms of a relationship for you Sagittarius so hopefully that uh, helps you with making your decision decision what you should do moving forward and uh, hopefully you enjoy the reading and uh, with that being said we're gonna see each other next time until then bye